In this lecture, we're going to be utilizing the Data Migration Assistant to do a migration from on-premise to an Azure SQL database. So this tool can be downloaded from the Microsoft website. The download link will be in the resource section of this lecture. So here we're going to get the latest version, which is Data Migration Assistant version 5.7. So here I'm just going to select download. Once the download is completed, open the MSI file, select next, accept the terms of agreement, then select next. Then select install to install the application. This will take a minute or two to complete. The installation has been completed. Now I'm going to check this box that says launch Microsoft Data Migration Assistant and then select finish. Now I'm just going to maximize this window. So one of the great benefits of the Data Migration Assistant is that it offers a great assessment of your on-premise SQL Server before you proceed with your migration. So to get started, you need to create a new project. I'm going to select this plus icon here to create a new project. So you have the option to do an assessment because the databases that I am using in this course are small databases and assessment is not really necessary because more often than not all the objects that I am using will be supported. So if you have like a store procedure in your database that is doing cross database queries then that store procedure will not be supported and you have to drop that store procedure before migration. So that is why it's important that you do an assessment before migration. Over, I'm just going to proceed with migration as these databases are really small without any large amount of different types of objects. So I'm going to specify a project name. So I'm just going to call this Azure Migration. For the source server type, it will be SQL Server. For the target server type, it can be to Azure SQL Database, Azure SQL Managed Instance, Azure SQL on a Virtual Machine, or to a SQL Server. So you can go from SQL Server to SQL Server, but you can go from a Azure SQL or a Azure Managed Instance to a SQL Server using Data Migration Assistant. Now for the scope of migration, you can choose different things that you want to migrate. So let's expand this option here. So here you can do schema and data, you can do schema only, as well as you can do data only. So I'm going to do schema and data. So I'm going to create project. Now with this method, it is important that you create the target database before you start the migration. So the database need to exist, but it doesn't have to have any objects within it. However, you have to ensure that the database collations are the same. So here I'm just going to specify my server name. You can choose your authentication type, whether it be Windows Authentication, SQL Server Authentication, or Active Directory Authentication. So I'm going to keep the default as Windows Authentication, and then select Connect. On this page, you need to choose the database that you are migrating. So I will be migrating the AdventureWorks LT 2019. So once you have selected the database, then select Next. Now I need to specify my target server. However, my target database has not been created as yet. So it's important that you create the database before and do not create the connection first and then create the database after. You will basically have to restart the project before the database can be rediscovered. So I'm going to head over to Management Studio first and create a target database. So to create a new database, right click databases. Select new database, specify a name for your database. So I'm just going to call this data migration assistant and then select OK. Now that the database has been created, I am going to head over back to the data migration assistant. So specify your server name for the authentication type. Use SQL Server Authentication. Specify your username and specify your password for connection properties uncheck encrypt connection then select connect so here you would simply choose the database that you want to migrate to so i'm going to select data migration assistant then select next so the first step in the migration process is that the data migration assistant prepare all the schemas and objects for migration during this stage, if any of the objects can't be migrated, then you'll see a Redex beside it. 
The next step will generate the scripts that will be used to be deployed on the target database. So select Generate SQL Script. So it's in the process of scripting the schema objects. If you would like to use the script in the future, then you can always save the script. So select Deploy Schema. So it is deploying the schemas individually. Once the schema is completed, if there were any errors, it will be highlighted here. So if you had make any changes, then you can always select Redeploy Schema. So the next step is to select Migrate Data. Now here you have the option to choose which tables that you want to migrate. So I'm going to select Start Data Migration. On this page, you can monitor the progress of the data being transferred. Those were successful, no warnings, no failures. So now we can go to SQL Server Management Studio and perform a quick validation. So let's head over to Management Studio. Now let's expand database, expand tables, and all the tables are present. Now let's do a quick select of 1000 rows. Now we have successfully validated that the data has been migrated successfully. Using the Data Migration Assistant is great when you are just moving to cloud as it provides you the capability to do a thorough assessment of your on-premise SQL Server database before you do a migration.